In recent months, increasingly alarming yet intriguing signals have been emerging within the global technology industry, pointing more and more clearly to the fact that Samsung is preparing the most ambitious update of its product lineup in the entire history of the brand. And according to several sources close to the leadership of the South Korean giant, the first public announcements of this new strategy are preliminarily scheduled for 2026. And this is not about cosmetic improvements or another iteration of familiar devices, but about a fundamental rethinking of what user experience can be in the post-smartphone era, as classic form factors rapidly lose relevance and the market increasingly shows signs of innovation stagnation. According to insiders cited by authoritative outlets such as Bloomberg, Nikkei Asia, and the Korean publication The Elec, Samsung has spent the last two years conducting an internal restructuring of its research divisions, unifying display, mobile device, and artificial intelligence teams into a single ecosystem aimed at creating a technological leap comparable in scale to the transition from button phones to touchscreens. Sources claim that the phrase window of opportunity is being used more and more frequently inside the company, and this window is directly linked to the fact that Apple, despite its dominance, is increasingly criticized for a lack of radical innovation, while other tech giants are either stuck in niche products or unwilling to risk the mass market. It is precisely at this moment that Samsung, according to insiders, decided to bet on a direction that until recently was considered too futuristic and impractical for the mass consumer, transparent technologies. Inside the company, this direction is described not merely as experimental, but as strategic, and it has long ceased to be an abstract concept. Samsung has been investing for many years in the development of transparent displays, starting with commercial solutions for storefronts, museums, and advertising panels, continuing with experiments in transparent OLED and micro-LED showcased at CES and IFA but kept out of the mass market. Samsung Display is now considered one of the global leaders in transparent screen manufacturing, and sources claim that as early as 2024, the company reached a key technological threshold at which transparency stopped being purely demonstrative and began to combine with acceptable brightness, contrast, and energy efficiency. Against this backdrop, the active integration of artificial intelligence into the device design process became the catalyst that allowed Samsung to move from we can show a prototype to we can build a product. According to Korean sources, AI is used not only for image optimization and adaptive interfaces, but also for engineering tasks, component distribution, management of transparent layers, compensation for optical distortions, and even dynamic dimming of specific screen zones depending on content and lighting. Inside the company, this is referred to as smart transparency, where a device remains visually transparent but can turn into a fully dense screen when needed. It is this technology, insiders say, that will form the basis of a new lineup of devices Samsung plans to introduce starting in 2026. This includes an entire family of products, a transparent smartphone, a transparent tablet, next-generation transparent TVs, and even smart home elements integrated into glass surfaces. However, the key and most important product of this lineup, according to sources, will be the world's first commercially-oriented transparent tablet, unofficially referred to inside the company as the iPad Killer. According to leak reports, the tablet was chosen as the starting device for a reason. The tablet form factor allows batteries and computing modules to be placed in opaque areas of the frame or in thickened sections, while preserving the effect of an almost fully transparent working space, something that is far more difficult to achieve in a smartphone. Sources familiar with the prototypes claim that the Samsung tablet will use a hybrid architecture, a transparent OLED layer, combined with an active micro-LED backlight matrix controlled by AI in real time. This would allow the device to be nearly invisible when turned off and transform into a vivid display when activated, with support for partial transparency, for augmented reality workflows, blueprints, next-generation interfaces, and professional applications. According to analysts cited by Financial Times journalists, this is where the potential revolution lies. While Apple continues to position the iPad as essentially a large iPhone, Samsung may offer a fundamentally different usage model in which the tablet ceases to be just a screen 
and becomes part of the surrounding space. Insiders say the device will be deeply integrated with Samsung's AI ecosystem, including a next-generation personal assistant capable of adapting the interface to context, from work and education to entertainment and design. Screen transparency, according to sources, unlocks entirely new scenarios. Architects will be able to overlay digital plans onto real objects. Designers will work with 3D models directly in physical space, and everyday users will use the tablet as a window into the digital layer of reality. This, according to insiders, may be precisely why Apple could find itself in a catching up position. Within the industry, there is growing sentiment that Apple is too tightly bound to existing product categories and fears radically changing form factors due to the risk of cannibalizing its own devices. Samsung, by contrast, has historically been more willing to take risks by releasing experimental products, as seen with foldable smartphones, which were initially met with skepticism but ultimately set a new trend for the entire market. Insiders say that if Samsung's transparent tablet is unveiled in 2026 and proves even partially ready for mass adoption, Apple could fall several years behind, since such technologies require long development cycles and major supply chain restructuring. Moreover, sources claim Samsung is already in talks with key software developers, offering them early access to SDKs for transparent interfaces, potentially creating a snowball effect even before an official announcement. Behind the scenes at technology conferences, there is increasing talk that 2026 could become a turning point for the entire personal device industry, with transparent technologies emerging as the long-discussed next big step that no one previously dared to take first. If these insider reports are confirmed even partially, Samsung may indeed seize the initiative from Apple by offering the market not just another tablet, but a new vision of how humans interact with the digital world where the boundary between the screen and reality begins to dissolve. And this is why, according to analysts, the next two years will be decisive. Either Apple manages to respond to this challenge, or for the first time in a long while finds itself in the position of having to catch up with a competitor that dared to step into the future ahead of everyone else. Against this backdrop, it is especially telling that within Apple itself, according to sources close to the Asian supply chain, Transparent displays are still viewed more as a long-term experiment than as a priority product. And this, according to analysts at Morgan Stanley and Bernstein Research, could play a decisive role in shifting the balance of power in the market. While Apple remains focused on refining existing form factors and the gradual evolution of its ecosystem, Samsung, judging by insider leaks, is betting on the element of surprise and a technological shock capable of reshaping user expectations. Sources claim that within Samsung there is serious consideration of a scenario in which a transparent tablet becomes not just a standalone product, but a symbol of a new era for the brand. A kind of manifesto demonstrating that the company is once again ready to set the rules of the game. Moreover, according to Korean media reports, a limited launch in key regions, South Korea, the US, and Japan, is being discussed, with subsequent scaling if the market response proves positive. This approach allows risks to be minimized, while simultaneously creating an aura of exclusivity around the device, which could play a role no less important than the technology itself. Within the industry, there is growing talk that if Samsung manages to prove the viability of transparent devices as early as 2026, it could trigger a chain reaction forcing competitors to urgently revise their roadmaps. And then the question will no longer be whether the market is ready for transparent technologies, but who was first to turn a futuristic idea into a real product, and who will ultimately be left behind, clinging to familiar but aging form factors.